Hello guys! Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is actually Sunday. It doesn't feel like a Sunday at all to be honest because Memorial Day just threw me all off and I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a Sunday. I've been working all morning, filmed a few other videos and I also have a ton of just like random vlog footage. So I don't really know what's gonna be in this vlog but I'm gonna vlog for the rest of today because I have a ton of errands to do. Now it actually is going to feel like a Sunday. It's almost four o'clock but I'm just starting to do my errands now. Like I have so much random stuff I'm, I have to do, which we'll get into. Um, but I do wanna thank today's sponsor, Nasty Gal, for sponsoring this video. I have a bunch of stuff to try on, so I'm actually gonna cut to that and I'm gonna try on a bunch of cute stuff from them. I got like all neutrals, like literally all black and white and just like great basics for summer and actually one of the things is this white bag right now that I'm using and I'm obsessed with. I just put my wallet and all my necessities in here and I think it is the cutest thing ever. So easy to open and close which I like look for and I'm very specific about with purses because I hate when you get a purse that like just doesn't work right when you're out and about so i'm obsessed with this you guys know i love nasty gal so much and i work with them all the time like they have the best best stuff so i'm excited to show you all that so let's go to the try and haul and then i will see you guys after okay this is the first nasty gal look um this black bikini is from nasty gal i thought it was really cute there's like little cutouts here and I like how it's just like a plain basic black bikini but the shape is just a little bit different and fun i have like no tan on right now so i feel very pale but i love the little like crisscross detail and i feel like it makes the swimwear a little more elevated i like to have like all different kinds of swimwear you guys know that pickles hey no Right. Pickles is literally being insane today. Okay, then over top, I paired it with this white, like, sheer long line cover-up. Um, I'm not sure if they actually made it for swimwear or not. I'm just showing it paired this way right now. But I actually picked this up to style more with, like, full outfits just because I think it's a great layering piece. And then I also have these crazy heels on right now just to show you the full look. I mean, this would be, like, a little Vegas swimwear moment or something but i'm obsessed with these shoes they're little like white square toe heels with the gold chain detail which i think is so cute obviously it adds like a whole extra accessory and jewelry with just being like one full piece so i'm picturing this white overlay honestly with like some ripped jean shorts a cute white top or maybe a fun color top and pickles is gonna attack my feet again hey dude I know you like this thing, but it's not for, it's not a toy. It's really not a toy. It's not, and you're gonna rip it. You guys, everything I picked up from Nasty Gal this time is literally like black, white, neutrals, like very easy staples in your wardrobe. So obviously this black bikini, the white long line top, and then I have some denim. I have another swimwear to show you. A black outfit, a white blazer, like everything is very, just like staples for your closet. So I'm gonna try on the next swimwear cover-up now okay guys this is the second swimsuit cover-up i am so obsessed with this once it is actually on it looks so much better on than i even thought it would i think it's super cute um obviously it's amazing as a beach cover-up but it is like pretty full coverage like the crochet is pretty tight knit where i could totally style this as like a full-on dress and pair like a nude slip underneath or even like a white bodysuit something obviously a little bit more covered but like totally wearing it as like a going out little dress because i think it is just really cute obviously crochet is totally in for the summertime and honestly it's super comfy the back is like open and yeah i probably if i did wear it as a swimsuit cover-up i'd probably wear more like basic um swimwear underneath i still have the same black one on obviously i feel like it needs something a little bit more basic because this is just like 
a star in itself but i really really want to wear this and pair this as like a full-on dress and not just a beach cover-up okay we kicked crazy pickles out now we're just left with olive because she's a good girl but the next outfit i'm going to show you is literally the star of the show right when i saw this on nasty y'all i was like freaking out had to pick it up um, I think you guys can already tell what it is. This two-piece denim set is amazing. I've literally never seen any like denim this style before and I think it is just so cute and different. They are sold separately so I picked out the boyfriend like baggy jeans. Um, just the very classic style that's in right now. Actually not boyfriend jeans. It's just like a straight leg jean pretty loose and they actually fit really well. I got a US size 2 which is my usual size and I like the, the little bit of room that it gives me because they're honestly super comfortable and the back is super cute the top I'm wearing is also from Nasty Gal but it goes with some pants that I'll show you guys in a second I just threw it on so you guys could see it with this look um but I love like two piece sets like this because I know they're sold separately but I can wear it as a full outfit which I'll throw the jacket on in a second or I can pair both of them separately like 5,000 ways. So this is what this looks like. I think it's really cute. Sorry, by the way, if I'm like out of breath, just changing fast. And it's literally a thousand degrees in my room. It's been so hot and muggy in Michigan, honestly, surprisingly. And the catio is like wide open. So it lets out all the AC in my room is always extremely hot. So it's kind of hard to do these try-ons right now, but this is so cute let me throw on the jacket i tried to do my haul differently showing you guys in the mirror is mine okay yeah that's done um because i thought it would be easier but i feel like it's just not easier i feel like it's easier just to set up my camera and try on this way okay so this jacket is also let me check my sizing oh i got this in a us okay yeah us2 um, but the jacket is obviously like made to be oversized so this jacket is pretty big which I think it's going to be really cute because I can probably wear it like as a dress or just as a jacket over a bunch of different outfits because it is just like a denim neutral color but still has that really cool like texture and uniqueness to it. I love stuff like that. I love a good classic easy piece with just something a little bit different and like interesting to where it's still really wearable but it's not like a boring plain denim jacket you know what i mean okay let me get these buttons undone and now there's a fly in my room the things i do to have the catio for the cats i want you guys to comment down below if bugs like freak you out because this may sound so gross but like bugs don't really freak me out that's why i like i don't really care olive will probably kill the bee anyways herself it's entertaining to her like i think it's gross i will clean it up i'll get them out of my room i'm not like ever freaking out if there's a bug in the room i'm just like it's not gonna hurt me okay this jacket also what i love about this set is how there's like tiny holes on it it's actually like little holes so it's actually very breathable like lightweight summer material i know this like outfit seems like how the hell are you gonna wear that in the summer but here in michigan like a night out this with like a cute crop top underneath like this black one i think actually looks really cute with this and like look it's literally a full like denim suit this is amazing. Oh, maybe the setup is good because you guys can see in that mirror right there. If I get close enough to it. Yeah, okay. This is really cute. This is actually way cuter on than I thought it would be. It's definitely oversized. And remember guys, I'm five foot. I still have the white heels on. So like everything is a little bit always big on me, but I'm honestly living for it. The dress is maybe not that long, but like this with some shorts and boots or the jeans just by themselves without the jacket. Like this is just a full on moment and I'm here for it. Okay, I'm gonna put on the black pants next. They are just these plain pants. Um, I got this in a US zero, which is a UK four and this black top comes with it. So this is a matching set together. Got them both in zero and with this set and the crochet set, I knew for sure I wanted it to be really fitted and smaller. That's why I picked a zero over a two. But my regular size in clothing, if I just want it to fit the right way, I get a two. 
UK 6. I will have all that sizing info down below because I know it's confusing. Just always double check the Nasty Gal website when you're shopping to make sure you're shopping in either US sizes or UK sizes because it can be a little confusing in a mix-up and they are different. So gotta be aware of that. Um, let me throw these pants on real quick. Oh my god, you guys. These are so comfortable. So high-waisted. I love that. I love a good high waist to really just make you feel comfortable and secure. This is like the perfect all black summer night outfits. There's no pockets or anything, but it looks like so sleek and it's very comfortable because it's that like cottony ribbed material. I love this little crop top. It's like kind of like a string bikini where you can move these, adjust them, and then it ties in the back and then it has these thicker straps to tie the top which I have like super long right now which I think also just makes it kind of fun and different. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep this on for today because I'm about to head to a new coffee shop and just edit for the whole day and I usually like to be pretty comfortable when I'm like sitting and working on my computer all day but also it feels really nice when I feel put together and ready for the day because it is my job and I feel more motivated that way. So this is like the perfect little outfit for that. And then I could throw over this jacket again. Like literally we'll go with anything off the shoulder just to kind of give you like that little bit of layer. I'm obsessed with it. You could do the white one as well with this. Let me show you this white over like an outfit instead of just the bathing suit. I think it's so cute. I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. I was like, I need to get this. I think they had it in black too, by the way, if you're scared of the white. But see how it just adds a whole other layer and it's nice and sheer. We'll literally go with every single outfit. Okay. Um, I'm out of breath. I'm hot. I have one more item here that I actually think I'm going to try on by itself because I think I can wear this as a dress. This is a neoprene oversized blazer. I got this in UK 6, US 2, my regular size. And it's a really thick, exactly like it says, like neoprene material. And I really wanted a white blazer. I don't have one. One, because I need it for like jackets or if I'm ever dressing up, I feel like a white blazer just complements more of the clothing that I wear rather than like a black one and I thought it would be cute on its own like as a dress blazer dress with like boots or something and I honestly just felt like it was a good classic to have and I don't have anything like this in my closet blazers are such good like just jackets look how cute this looks and sophisticated this is more of like a full fall look i wouldn't probably wear this with the black because it's kind of a lot of layering but um let me take the black off and try this on as like a dress you can see it that way but this is like just another great staple big pockets it's like very stretchy because that neoprene material Okay, so this is kind of how I was picturing it when I first picked it up, like as a really sexy blazer dress. I love a good blazer dress. If you're any taller, I don't know how this will work on you because this isn't like marketed as a dress, but it is oversized. Um, you could always even size up higher if you are someone taller and want to wear it like this. But another good fix, which I probably would do anyways, oh my god, I'm gonna like flash you, is just wear like a biker shorts or even like a nude biker short underneath. So even if it does show, it like still looks cute and part of the outfit, but it still gives that like dress vibe. It looks really cute with these white heels, but I honestly always love a blazer dress or like jacket dresses like this with some boots, like snakeskin boots or something fun like that. Lots of gold jewelry. I love this look when it's just like so open. And yeah, I think this is so cute. I mean, you can't go wrong with a white blazer. And I really think this one's unique because of that neoprene material. It looks so much more expensive than it is. And yeah, I think it's really cute. Okay. Those are all the Nasty Gal pieces I have to show you for the month of June. Um, let me know down below if you guys liked them and definitely shop Nasty Gal as always. I have all the information in the description box. Um, if I have a discount code or anything like that, check there and happy shopping. Okay, we are back in the car. Just like that, the power of editing, I am able to 
make that happen um, but yeah I'm just leaving my house it's almost four o'clock I haven't really ate much today so I think that's actually the first thing we're gonna do is go pick up some food I want this Mediterranean place that I'm obsessed with I show you guys all the time I feel like I get it pretty often next to that is the pet store I need some cat litter dry food extra wet food I kind of need to do a full restock on the cat things also have these gorgeous gold knobs that I got from home goods that I'm using for a project that I'll show you and I needed two packs but they only had one pack of gold the rest were all silver so I bought a pack of gold bought a pack of silver but we need to attempt to paint the silver ones gold so I'm gonna take this to the craft store and try and find some antique gold paints that will match this so I'm bringing this so I can match the color um, I need to get an oil change that is like huge on the to-do list I actually think we should do that as one of the top priorities and actually this morning I got up early and I vacuumed and like cleaned out my entire car and did like the full wipe down so my car's feeling really clean um, and that's what made me think I need to get an oil change but I haven't done that yet so like lots on my mind I'm literally like saying my to-do list out loud to you guys right now <laughs> as we speak um, so food cat store oil change craft store which like obviously isn't a huge priority but I usually like to do a bunch of errands at once if I know I have the rest of the day and it's like the weekend to get them done might as well just do all the errands at once because it's kind of a hassle to like do just like one random errand that's not that important all on its own because I feel like it takes so much longer so yeah I thought I would vlog um, and take you guys along with me I'll try and vlog as much as I can but I'm literally just gonna be bopping around like crazy and yeah and then I know I have a ton of other like fun vlog footage of like Kyle and I golfing and just doing some fun things so I'll probably show you guys that in this vlog too it may not be chronological but really doesn't make a difference so let's go get some food I'm starving and yeah it's a beautiful day it's so sunny it's like 90 degrees here in Michigan I'm obsessed and even though it doesn't feel like a Sunday I'm very happy that it is a Sunday because I don't feel too much pressure right now for like work things since I actually already did a bunch this morning um, also one more thing I kind of want to get my nails done because I am in need for a fill and I'm over the pink and a Sunday evening would really be ideal to get that done before work week Monday and tomorrow I'm gonna be busy so all right guys we made it to 2941 it is a Mediterranean like street food place very similar to like Chipotle but Mediterranean style and it's so good and so fresh and so healthy great there's a car pulling up next to me okay never mind they backed up I'm pretty sure it's only like a Metro Detroit thing I think this was one of the first ones and it's a family that owns it this is all what I think um, and then they kind of franchise it out a bit because there's several locations around me now I wish it was more like mainstream because it is so good and like I'm always in the mood for it so um, I actually want to read you what I ordered just because I feel like it's interesting and it just sounds so good and we are waiting on the food anyways I ordered on my phone and then you can always just like walk in and grab it really quick which I always love especially when I'm running errands because I'll like order beforehand and then it's like good timing and all that um why can't I see my order? It's also very convenient because the pet store that I go to, Premier Pet Supply, is right next door. Another, like, Metro Detroit family-owned business that has kind of franchised out a tiny bit, but only in this area. And I hate that. I hate when I, like, go to places that are only local because then all my followers everywhere else can't experience that. Um, but if you're from around here, Premier Pet Supply is, like, the best pet store. They have the best stuff. Very, like, family-friendly and just, like, very welcoming. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, like, so good. I can't find my order. I wanted to, like, read it to you guys specifically. But I get the yellow rice. I did half chicken, half lamb. Um, their like basil yogurt sauce and their sweet and spicy sauce. I pick two different ones. They're so good. Then I get the beets and turnips on the side, which I love pickled beets. It's like one of my favorite things, but they also have like pickled uh, cucumbers and like pickles, like very traditional Mediterranean like vegetables. I always get the beets. Then I got the nomad salad, which is like a really yummy like cucumber fresh salad and they put this like lemon vinaigrette over top then i did feta cheese on top with the samu chips i don't know if i say that said that right but they're like 
basically like crispy like pita chips on top so good and i got normally i get the original hummus but this time i got the blaze hummus i'm assuming it's like a spicy one i'm not really sure but that is my full order like so much yummy stuff you can put olives they have all different kinds of meat sometimes i get their falafel which is so good if you're um vegetarian or vegan and yeah it is like so freaking good okay i'm actually gonna run into the pet store get food litter and other things i'm not gonna bring my camera because my hands will be very full but i'll show you guys my little haul afterwards and then we'll run into 2941 to pick up their food Here is my food. I'm actually gonna sit in the parking lot and eat a little bit now. I also love this place because the leftovers are always so good and it's just like a bowl. So I'll just like like have the leftovers for lunch or just like later on. Um, so yeah, I got the beets, yellow. Actually, I'll open it. The sauce is kind of spilling. Salad, the hummus. I'm assuming that's like the blaze spicy stuff they put on the hummus. Feta, there's yellow rice in there, which is so good. And then I got half lamb and half chicken, which is in there somewhere so i'm gonna eat this up i was listening to what we said podcast with jc and chelsea it is such a good podcast you guys i'll be completely honest i wasn't like fully obsessed with it i was never like waiting to hear the next episode from them when i first started listening um but i still always listen because i i like them at, in general and like it's a good podcast but i was never like addicted to it sorry i feel like i'm trying to get my set up right and then the more and more i listen to them and i feel like they've gotten like so much have done it for longer so like every episode gets better and better but now i just realized oh god that is spicy i just realized that it is one of my favorite podcasts and i look forward to it every week and i feel like usually it's just because they're so light-hearted and happy and just like just two girls like hanging out and it's they don't take themselves like too seriously and that's what i really like about the podcast grown to like love it even more it like feels like a fresh it feels like a breath of fresh air honestly when i listen to them every week because i listen to a lot of like more serious podcasts or just like not even serious but like they over produced in a way which i love those don't get me wrong but i just love how they're like so chill and it literally just feels like you're hanging out with a friend and it's never like overdone so highly recommend their podcast it's so good i'm listening to the juicy polls one right now which is just so fun like they do stuff like that that makes it so much more just like entertaining and lighthearted. so yeah i'm gonna listen to the podcast and eat a little bit theme park and 28 percent said water park time yeah sun Splash is fun it's more kind of freaks me out just yeah. like the germs like you're all in the same water together and there's literally yeah. a thousand of pe thousand people yeah, that is true. It's kind of pretty gross. Gross. Like, especially if you're in, like, the thing to me. I didn't know that. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I, they tell you that. Well, they, they, in one of the seasons it? I watched, yeah, they were basically saying, like, I just took Chelsea. Um, I, depends. I think for the first part, I like to be alone. Google mood, take some time for myself, and then go back out to be with people. Yeah, definitely. Would you relocate for love? 92% said yes and 8% said no. Followers, it's not that they work harder than a doctor or simply because they have a huge reach and it's fine. Okay, well, of course, the number one priority of today's errands was the oil change and most of the places around here are either already closed, not open on Sunday at all, or close at five o'clock. And it is 420 um, and there's not like a ton of places around here and the one that is open has like really bad reviews i've gotten stuck going to like a random oil change place before and it's just never been a good idea um because i feel like i'm overcharged you want to be going to the right places basically so i'm just going to get that done tomorrow and as well as with my nails i'm totally running out of time today the nails my nail salon isn't open past five on sunday i thought they were open a lot later they may have changed that they may have changed that but either way i like just don't have time today 
Anyways, we're gonna go to the craft store, find some gold paint. I do want to go to Home Goods and find some matching frames for something, which I will show you guys later. And then that's pretty much it. So. Pickles has been sleeping in here, and Olive was sleeping outside. All my nasty gal pieces that I have to put away in my closet, but I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. So these are the knobs that I bought gold. I'm obsessed with them. I actually was at Home Goods with Kyra. Oh no, it wasn't Home Goods. We were at Marshalls. He was looking for underwear, and I was like, let's just go look at the decor, like really quickly, whatever, just very casual. And I've been looking for knobs for these two cabinets that I thrifted, which I'll show you later on. Um, and I randomly saw these. I didn't even think Marshalls would have knobs I saw them and they were literally perfect so I thought it was meant to be but they only had one gold case and then they had a bunch of cases of this silver so it's the same exact knob just a different color obviously so that's why I need to go to Joann's I got some gold paint so this is the gold paint that I picked out I honestly wasn't thinking I was gonna get spray paint and then as more I thought about it all the little crevices and little details I thought the spray would be best and this says it's for wood metal plastic um, and it says it's a vintage gold which was really key here because I want something that is like this specific color not like a brassy and not like shiny they had a lot of like shiny finishes so I hope this works obviously I couldn't test the color um, but even if it's not close I can always like paint over these two so they match and then I also picked up two gold picture frames because I actually won Best YouTuber of 2021 for our Detroit Magazine. I'm so excited. Maybe I'll tell you guys more about it later. But I basically want to frame like my photo in it as well as the cover. I'm not on the cover, but I thought I'd frame the cover so we can see like what issue it was. And then I got the same exact frame, same exact size to put my page in it. Um, I think these are the right size. And I like these because they were already pre... Oh my god, sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. I like these because they were already pre-matted, so I hope this is the right size of the magazine. It's a little bit larger than a normal one, or at least big enough to like show the photo. Um, the frames were all on sale, and I liked this like vintage gold look. I'm really into that, especially on like a modern, clean aesthetic. This is like my vibe. Hi guys, happy Monday. It is the next day, obviously, and I did not finish vlogging yesterday because my camera died like halfway through or whatever I was talking about. I think it was telling you guys about like the picture frames that I got from Joann's. Everything that I got yesterday when I got home from my errands, I realized was wrong, um, and I never got my oil change or nails done yet because I have so much computer work to do today. Okay, the two picture frames that I got to frame the magazine cover in, I think that's what I was talking about last. Um, our Detroit, do I have it in here? I do have it! I wanted to show you guys in person, um, or in camera. I... It took me a while to actually get a copy of the magazine, so here's Our Detroit. This is like one of the biggest media companies in Michigan, is Our, is like the main source, and they do a Best of Detroit every year, and it usually comes out in June. Oh god, so this is the June issue, and basically like a bunch of different people win all these different categories. So they have categories from like Best Cafe, Best Gym Trainer, um, Best Sandwiches, like this is the Best Sandwich shop so 176 winners and I won best youtuber of the year which is like so crazy to me because I had no idea it was coming and they have like a thing online where everyone in the public can just vote for whoever they want to like you're not really nominated you can just pick anybody and oh my god Liv won the best dispensary I love Liv if you guys live around here you guys should check them out, a recreational dispensary. But not only did I win Best YouTuber, but I got a full spread page, which only like s maybe six, like under 10 people got a full page and 176 winners. 
so this is my page we had a huge photo shoot for it it was like all secret i remember i was gonna try and vlog that day and then i didn't even end up vlogging the shoot it was like a whole production got my hair and makeup done and it's just so cool like it's so surreal and especially to be like our detroit makes me I don't know, I'm very honored to be in this, and I had no idea. That's what I want to say. Sorry, guys, I'm all over the place. I cannot think straight because I have a lot of, like, work things on my mind. It's Monday morning, busy week, and I have a lot of stuff to do today, but I am so honored to be featured in this magazine, and I bought those frames so I could frame the cover and then frame my page um but i got totally the wrong size i knew in the store too i had the bigger frames i was like i'm pretty sure i need the bigger frames and i googled it told me 8 by 11 so i ended up getting 8 by 11 and they're way too small because it's like a matted on the inside so the actual size is different blah 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 so i have to return those frames pick up some new ones and then the gold paint that i got like just totally didn't match at all um so yeah that's just a little update there i'm probably going to end this vlog here soon though and i know i have a bunch of other random fun footage to show you but i'm probably going to stop vlogging today and i'll show you guys like the knobs and then if i ever get those picture frames figured out in the next vlog i think i'll start a vlog like midweek this week and vlog for a few days but yeah, I'm going to go inside to this coffee shop. It's a new cafe, get some breakfast and just start working away. And I'm going to continue this vlog with a bunch of footage that I have like from the past week, just like some fun stuff that we're doing. So enjoy. <laughs>
Hole number one. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason Understand, like golf courses are always just next to the main road. I mean, right? Like, most of them around here, and like there's such a, high, I feel like there's such a high chance that you would hit a car all the time, and I feel like none ever get hit because if they did, I feel like they would change it. I don't know. I'm no golfer here, but I love driving. Hopefully, you can hear me because I don't have my microphone. By the way, this is like such a random fact that I want to tell you guys. Sorry, the angle is so weird. It's the only spot I can put you guys on the golf cart. But I feel like whenever I'm with Kyle or just like vlogging with him around, do you guys see like the goofier side of me? Because it's just how I like am all the time. But obviously when I'm vlogging like by myself in my room, I'm a little more serious and just like not as silly. Because you're not like really silly when you're by yourself, I feel like. And I feel like you guys never get to see that side of me. I am very weird. I'm just kind of like silly. I'm just trying to get this thing to go over my ponytail. Cam hit the shit out of her ball. She literally made it better than anybody else. Better than the boys. Okay. Since he's out of play right now, you can either punch through it, <laughs> like punch as in like, mm. it's like he won't get it. Nice. That was a great shot. I didn't yeah. see where it went. On the fairway now, in the middle there. You gotta go to my ball. Five 
You creep. Is it my favorite kind of medication you talk about? All right, y'all, last hole. The boys are tied up. Get in. Nice. Woo nice. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> you know it was good. <laughs> good game, guys. Hi. Good game. Is that a Krispy Kreme for you? I got a six. Okay. Six. What's that total? Yeah, we'll count that up later. It's probably pretty six. high. There we go. One off. Win a win a chicken dinner, Brand. Oof. Oof. Oh, yeah. hey, oh. Eh. Off, the, off, the, off the toe, but if it was not, <laughs> that would be great. Nice. There you go. Holy crap. Nice.